Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video we shall learn how to have multiple calendars in one calendar itself in Notion. So let's get started. So to do this, all you have to do is use the command prompt slash and search for calendars. I'm going to just type it down and you have two calendar options. If you're just going to use the Notion document uh, for a calendar, you can use the full page. Or you can use the inline calendar where you can have multiple databases all in one page itself. For this example, I'll use the inline calendar. And let's rename this to calendar because it's straightforward, right? Alright. So now since we have the calendar set up, now you can go ahead and bring out your various uh, documents or appointments or anything that you would like to put into the calendar that you think needs to be segregated. Uh, in that case, you would require to have more than one calendar. So in those cases, we can have and use this method. So to start off, I'm going to put in two inputs. I'm going to use example as a content creator's calendar with their um, schedule content for either YouTube or Instagram. So those two will be my example for today. So the first example would be flat lay photograph. And I'm going to rename date as the start date. You can rename anything um, that you like. I'm going to leave it at 12th May, that's today. And the second one, I'm going to rename this as social media. Bring this down. And the third one is, it can be either a photograph or a video. This I'm going to change it to URL because I can uh, later on come back here and review my photograph if I have the link of it. Uh, if I saved it in the cloud or anywhere on the internet. So on the last but not the least it can be status. So that I can uh, come back and see if I have completed the task or not. I'm going to change it to multi-select. Alright. So now since my four structure is ready, I am pretty much happy with it. But if you have any other um, things that you want to list here, you can go ahead and click on add property and you can uh, rename it and choose from any of this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Yeah. So in social media, I'm going to use YouTube and Instagram as an example. So since this is a multi-select, I can have more than one over here. And I'm going to create Instagram. All right. But this will be stored throughout the calendar. So and I'm going to use only the flat lay photograph um, uh, example detail early on 12th May for Instagram. So I can go ahead and delete. YouTube from here, but it won't get deleted from the entire calendar. So that's great. So for status, I can uh, type in an idea if it's a new idea or something like that, and not started, or uh, I can write it as started, which is also like in progress, or done, which is like I've completed the task. So now I can go ahead and cancel both of these as it will remain in the database to give you an option later on if you want to change it to either started or done. The same is for this as well. So this is one example and the other example I, will I can do it on 14th and let's do over here as let's say a fashion um, Alright, and the social media for this I would give it as YouTube and the status for this I shall give it as an idea. Alright, so now we have our two examples. 
So now another thing that you would like to uh, do for clear information when you just look at the calendar, you know what's in this uh, particular file. So to do that, you can go to these three dots and you get these drop down, a lot of options right here. And you want to go to properties and you get this pop up. So these are the four different uh, tags or categories that you have put in your uh, file that you have just created. So you want to go ahead and toggle on all of them if you want all of them or if you want just particular two or three you can do that as well. And you can also add a property right here as well. So I'm going to toggle all of them on and leave it at that. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is basically the entire point of this video and that is uh, how you can have multiple calendars in one calendar itself. So to do that you have this option right here, add a view. So this basically helps you create multiple calendars in one calendar itself. So you go ahead and click on it and you can get all of these. Uh, options basically the various data databases that are there in Notion. So in case you want to convert this calendar into a table you can go ahead and do that. But for now I'll stick to calendar and over here you can see that there's a, a empty box. Basically you can give a name to your calendar. For this I shall give it a name YouTube. It's basically straightforward. So I'm going to give it a name and click on create. So it basically you have two different calendars. It's a calendar view which will show all of your uh, entries. And this particular calendar will show only your uh, YouTube entries. So to do that, again, you can go to these three dots, properties. And since you created a new YouTube calendar, these toggles have automatically turned off so you can go ahead and toggle them on Oops. yeah so it's back to normal so now to just keep uh, this particular YouTube entry on this particular calendar and remove the entry of Instagram so now again you can go back to these three dots and now you can use the option called filter go ahead and click on it and you get this pop up from Notion and you can use this um, option called add a filter and I'm going to add a filter. So now you can use any one of these but I'm going to filter it by social media since clearly this calendar is called YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and click on social media. Social media contains so you can give an option called YouTube or Instagram depending on the calendar that you have renamed. So obviously the option here is YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So you would have noticed that after I have clicked on YouTube, the Instagram entry just disappeared because the filter here contains only YouTube. So only the entry of YouTube stays in the YouTube calendar. So now again let's do for Instagram. So let's go back to the calendar view which has all our entries. So again go back to calendar view, add a view and again calendar. So this is selected. Now we can go ahead and rename this as Instagram and go ahead and hit create. So now we have a third calendar. So again, three dots and uh, properties. Then all the status, start date, social media, and photo. Again, we can go back to filters and start a filter. I mean, add a filter. And again, social media and Instagram. So now since we selected Instagram, Instagram stays in the Insta Instagram calendar and YouTube entry disappears. So this is how you can have multiple calendars in one calendar itself in Notion. 
and you also got to learn how you can use uh, the filter option in Notion so super easy and you can just keep exchanging between each and every calendar in one calendar itself which is super awesome and you even have the calendar view which will pick up all of the entries that you make in the separate calendar that is YouTube, Instagram or any other calendar that you would have um, so yeah it's, it's basically life changing experience to have multiple calendars in one calendar itself I think I have mentioned that one too many times so yeah I hope you enjoy this video and you learn something from it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.